Hey guys and girls, what's up? It's Daiso, and welcome back to another video. It seems everyone nowadays is trying to move to PC gaming, whether it be for better graphics, more customizability, or just to play with your friends. And if you have a low-end PC, or even have a high-end PC, but want to get the best performance possible, sometimes it can be really hard. So today I'm going to be showing you how to boost your CPU performance so that you can crush any game easily. Most of these tips shown off in this video will have the biggest effect on a mid-range CPU because it can boost a lot of performance out of them. Please smash the like button and subscribe to help this channel grow because all help is appreciated and follow me on Twitter while you're at it as I like to tweet out daily. And comment down below how I can improve as a creator and I will definitely take that into consideration. Other than that, let's get on with the video. So the first tip is to turn on game mode. Guys, this is literally the best tip for CPU performance as it shuts down other applications consuming your CPU, so you can easily get the best performance. Obviously, if your PC does not support game mode, don't worry, because I have two other great tips you guys can do which will help you with your CPU. To see if your PC supports game mode, all you have to do is go onto settings and find where it says gaming with the Xbox logo on top of it. Inside gaming, you should see a panel on the side saying game mode. Once you click on game mode, you will see where it says if your PC supports it. Game mode should be on by default, but if you see stutters in your game, press the Windows key plus G at the same time and click a circle with a timer on it until it's white. Then game mode should be turned on. If you're still experiencing stutters after turning game mode on, or if your PC just does not support game mode, a really easy tip to do is go onto task manager and go into processes. On processes and as many tasks as you can that you don't need on there. Do that as much as possible until you know that there's nothing you don't need anymore on there. Just be careful what you are disabling because you could accidentally disable something important. But any application you know of that is on there, you can just easily disable just by clicking the disable button on the bottom right corner. On my last tip which is to overclock your CPU. If you don't want to or you just can't, don't worry because overclocking could potentially damage your PC parts if you're not careful. But generally most of the time you should be okay with overclocking as it does get the most performance out of your CPU and GPU if you're planning to overclock that as well. And you're not really getting the most out of your PC parts if you don't. Personally, I'm okay with not overclocking my PC parts because I think I might break one of the parts even though I know it's okay. That's gonna wrap up the video guys. If you enjoyed and it helped you out, you should just smash the like button and subscribe to help this channel grow because all help is appreciated and follow me on Twitter while you're at it as I like to tweet out daily. And if you can, comment down below how I can improve as a creator and I'll definitely take that into consideration so I can become a better YouTuber. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.